Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everyone to another episode of our 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. Today we are going to be exploring Vault 81. But before we do, let's go into our Pip-Boy. And we're going to go over to our data and take off all aboard. Also, I did level up two times off screen and I put um, it into armor. So just to keep everybody up to date on what's happening. Let's go ahead and go inside Vault 81. Let's use our pip boy. Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy but you better start talking. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? I'm just a traveler. I thought I'd take a look around. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? Excuse me, ma'am. Before you arrived, he did say he was from Vault 111. And he's in possession of a working pit boy. Is that so? going to allow it. Edwards, open the door and make the announcement. Officer Edwards and I will meet you at the entrance. So if you don't have enough charisma, you're going to have to give them three fusion cores before you can enter Vault 81. So if you if you don't have the charisma to pass that, either do a quick save and try to um, get it through save scumming, which is whatever. I know people call it save scumming, but it, it's whatever. Um, or just grab three fusion cores and give them to the overseer. Come on, Gwen. My guys have been working doubles for Must weeks be now. Rough. They need a break. Yeah. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. We've never encountered a fellow Vault Dweller. Is this Vault 111 you mentioned still operational? No. Not anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened there? Did something go wrong? They had us cryogenically frozen in these pods, but something malfunctioned. Oh my god. All those lives lost due to some malfunction? That's unacceptable. I suppose we've been lucky. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard. But it's still got a long ways to go. Now, I have work to do. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. I don't want to hear any negative reports about you, outsider. No signs of radiation. Impressive. I heard we had a trade hey, around today. What are you doing up here? What I Ashes, wouldn't give for some real going? time off. Ash. Damn it. Aaron's not going to like this. Stay safe, sir. Let's go down the elevator.
Hey, mister, are you really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. I knew it. Hey, I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Okay. Give me the tour, Austin. Here's the caps. Yes. I gotta show you to Erin. She's gonna flip. Follow me. We'll start over here. This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. What do they fight about? I shouldn't tell you this, but everyone says Mr. Combs is sleeping with Tina. Mrs. Combs doesn't know, but he's always leaving her to do all the work while he hangs out with Tina. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet he killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and Raiders. I bet you fought Raiders, too. We're just going to keep following Austin. The Overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Does she take care of people that break the rules? Security mostly takes care of the people who break the rules. But she's in charge of all of the security officers. It doesn't happen very often. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice though. You'll like them. Austin's pretty slow. Hello, Austin. I see you're showing our guest from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. How's their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it though. Grand makes me comb it. All right, Austin. Let's uh, figure out how to walk around the table, bud. Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Grand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. If I ever need a new hairstyle, I'll come here. I hate getting my hair cut. Next stop is Gran. Let's go see Gran. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Hi, Grand. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Grand. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Pensky. She acts all grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. You don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. Grand grows it all here. She's really smart. Hmm. Next stop, Miss Kate. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go to the other side of the vault. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time, but Grant says I have to go anyway. Your gran is a smart woman, Austin. Are there a lot of kids in the vault? Not that many. The overseer says that we're using population control, whatever that is. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. 
Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess. But I don't go there unless I have to. Or unless Grant makes me. This kid kind of seems like a brat. Not completely, but some of the things he does. This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Did you ever get sick? Just colds and stuff. Hardly anyone here gets sick. Mr. Somerset broke his foot once, though. They put a big cast on it, and he had to walk with crutches. Now we go see Erin. She's going to be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. Can we speed this up? Erin, <laughs> look who I found. The stranger from the Commonwealth. Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. Whoa. Someone from the Commonwealth. That's so cool. We haven't had a visitor in a while now. Thanks for doing my tour. I was so cool to show you off to everyone. Excuse me, mister. Have you seen my cat? Ash is gone? What happened? He scratched me. And I yelled at him to go away. I didn't mean forever, though. His name is Ashes. And he's the best cat in the whole world. I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. I'll find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. Let's go into our pit boy. We're gonna... Oh, it already put it on there for us. Awesome. Uh, where is this fucking radio? I uh, know. It's really annoying having a radio playing. Is it over here? It is. Let's turn that off. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Every waking moment's an adventure out there. Oh, my. I knew it. My kids would love to hear some of them. Would you be willing to talk to my class? I'd be glad to talk to them. Marvelous. Stop by whenever class is in session. I'll just stop what I'm doing and turn the class over to you. Hey, Katie. Would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. Children, children, listen up. We have a guest today who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. Did you ever find a death claw? One of the Minutemen helped me kill one once. Cool. What happened? A group of raiders had my friend Preston trapped. But you rescued him, right? Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor! Wow. I wasn't ready when the Death Claw crawled out. Good thing I had that power armor. That sounds scary. Preston and I kept shooting until it was dead. I bet that took lots of bullets. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we have a thank you gift for you. Here. There's a grognak for us. Poor Ashes. He must be so scared. For those of you playing a uh, melee build, you're probably doing some amazing crit uh, damage. Oh, let me turn around here. We need to go to see the doctor foresight i think it is welcome welcome i hope i'm not being presumptuous but i'd like to ask you a favor would you mind donating some medical samples even just a blood sample 
Why do you need medical samples? It's for my research. The people of Vault 81 have been genetically isolated from the Commonwealth for many generations. I'm trying to determine what the genetic variation is between the two populations. Sure, you can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. This will only take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. That is uh, something that we have to do to progress Vault 81's story. So don't forget to uh, give him blood. Dr. Forsyth and Rachel have plenty of medical supplies to get you stocked up. See, yep. I need more food. Your pit boy ever act up on? Let's turn this off real quick. Ah, I was hoping you'd stop by. Now I know from experience that the Commonwealth shows no mercy when it comes to hair. So how about a trim? You've been outside of the vault? Quincy, born and raised. My mother, may she rest in peace. She was a doctor. Imagine her surprise when she learned I'd rather cut hair than stitch people up. <laughs> but enough about me. How about that hair of yours? Did you say you were from Quincy? Sure did. Looks like I was one of the lucky ones, too. Last I heard, gunners had taken her over. Any news going around? They say Holt is running around on his wife. <laughs> Apparently, he and Tina DeLuca are secretly getting together. But never mind about them. Your hair is a disaster. Y you have to let me fix it. Anything interesting happening in the vault? Did you know that Bobby DeLuca was a jet junkie? He needs to quit before someone gets hurt, himself included, working in maintenance, high all the time. It's a good thing old Rusty does most of the work. Not interested. All right, then. But come back if you change your mind. Let's uh, grab the taboo tattoos. Bingo. And I'm going to find all these... Damn radios. You're looking pretty bad in there. You're whipping or, up a new batch this is annoying. <laughs> so many radios in this vault. I Over here, if you come to Sorry about the, the depot, maids. you Never can ever. buy a pretty sweet combat rifle from her, and you can also buy three pieces of really good combat armor from her as well. So. Uh, if you're looking for some legendary items, go there. And I think I still heard a radio, by the way. <laughs> like, uh, they're just all over that vault. Don't make me regret letting you in here. Nice pit bull. If it ever starts acting up on you, you're like, you'll fix it right up. All right, let's uh, go outside here and find Aaron's cat. Be careful. These guys are going to alert some super mutants, I'm sure. Seems to be the case every time they're running off here. Hey, let's do this. Yeah. Oh, there's a suicider. Bye. <laughs> let's tell uh, Aaron's cat to go home with the weirdest dialogue ever. Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you. I don't know why that dialogue seems so out of place and just weird, but it does.
We're going to go back into Vault 81. And then we're going to do probably one of the harder quests in uh, Fallout 4. I say harder quest, but it's because the way the quest is set up and how hard it is not to catch a disease from it. Stay safe, sir. My advice to everybody is to Welcome do back. a quick save first. The Commonwealth hasn't gotten you yet. Good work on the cat retrieval. I thought for sure Ashes was a goner. Let's go turn this in. Austin got himself bit by a mole rat. So now they got us cooped up in here to watch Aaron. It's ridiculous. Ashes! You found him! Thanks, mister. I was so worried about him. You're welcome. I'm so glad he's safe. Ashes! All right, Dad, she he... gives us a fusion core. I and then we complete the quest here, Kitty Kitty. I know I don't Stay like out of trouble. either, but I'm just happy you're back. Damn it! She told me. You have to do something, Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsyth. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsyth, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there, so I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault. Good Lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junkie genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there, how would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? What do you need me to do? Save my boy, Austin. What's in this secret vault? Your guess is as good as mine. From what Bobby says, it might be a medical research facility. At least I hope so. It may be Austin's only chance. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. And They're now we start the quest, now. Hole in the Wall. They infected Austin. They could infect you as well. Everything's under control. So now we have the secret door here that we can go through. My advice to everybody, do a quick save. The reason why is because you can get infected here and then it'll have you uh, get a disease that will take 10 health from you. It's not a lot, but I don't know. I always try to not get the disease. Doesn't always happen. But if you don't want the disease, do a quick save and kind of 
methodically go through and you know make sure you don't get hit by any mole rats all right i'll quit blabbering and we'll go through the door now let's go ahead and crouch Loot what you want. Um, there's quite a bit of loot in this um, part of the vault. Some uh, lore if you want to read it. Seems there's a lot of 10 millimeter rounds, by the way, in those dressers. So that's why I was actively trying to... Uh, look in them. Unidentified intruder detected. Beginning search. <laughs> okay, I couldn't shoot him through there. This area clear. Proceeding with search protocol. Also, if anybody has landmines, it helps out tremendously in this part of the vault and on this quest. Um, yeah, let's lockpick it. Yes. Not worth it. I am not sneaky enough for this quest, but that's okay. If I can track the disease, I can track the disease. Not a big deal. I'm going to try to be as sneaky as I can, though. Looks like there's a mole rat that's going to pop out right there. Yep. Try to use vats as much as you can. It'll help. There we go. I'm sure this whole thing is overblown and Austin will be running around tomorrow. Overblown or not, we have to do what we can for Austin. I just don't know what I can do. Neither do I, Priscilla. Why him? He's just a boy. He's going to be just fine. You'll see. So far, so good. But that does not mean anything. And if you're still nervous of being hit as you're like going through, you're like, oh, I don't know if I could do that again the way that I did it. Just do another quick save. Well, this is going to be a joy for you. You get to nag me and I can't go anywhere. Oh, real nice, Holt. Make this about you. Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Your daughter could get sick like Austin, and you're whining about spending time with your family? I have things to do. We don't have to hide away in here. You're so busy, Holt. You have so much to do. Please, explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her safety. Just never mind. <sighs> What an asshole. Sounds like they're running around down there. You and your staff are to make sure every resident remains under stringent medical observation. Understood. But Overseer, 
No buts. This is for the good of the vault. We can't risk this pathogen spreading, Dr. Forsythe. Yes, Overseer. How is Austin doing? Not good. The infection has progressed quite rapidly. We need a way to stop it from spreading. Then let's hope that outsider pulls through and gets us a cure. Right here, I'd advise people to quick save. No, don't. Not. Ooh. I fucking hate this part. <laughs> I really do. Oh, I think I contracted a disease. No, I did not. Whoo. Close. I was really close. Ooh, nervous. It's actually quick save here. Where did he go? Woo! Motherfucker was quick! Just be on your toes. What? Ah, you dirty mole rat. Whew. Hopefully that's all of them. Let's pick up the password. The stim packs. And if that's all of them, that's fucking awesome. Seems like that's it. Yep. Got it. Oh, another stranger. Are you Void Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Who the heck are you? I am a Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, or CVR-IE. The human scientists call me Curie. Or more properly, they call me this when they were alive. I repeat, are you vault Security? These mole rats carry a disease. Do you know anything about it? My poor little darlings. They were used to grow all manner of new and interesting pathogens. Then Vault citizens would be exposed to these viruses in the hopes that they would develop new antibodies. But they never got a chance to execute their plan. Clyde got out of his cage. He was smarter than the others. My sweet Clyde. He let out the others and those poor scientists 
never stood a chance. Clyde's been dead for almost two centuries now, but his descendants have free run of the vault. I'm rambling. Where are my manners? Are you vault Tech Security? Yes. Yes, I am. Superb! I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then, a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Uh, I am so authorized. You are released. Super. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Since you are a Voltec representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. You only have one dose? That is correct. There used to be more, but they all expired. Sadly, the organic compounds necessary to make more have all deteriorated. You're just giving me the cure? My primary responsibility is to obey the orders of specified vault personnel, even if those orders violate my ethical matrix. But since you have graciously discharged me of this duty, I can give you the cure without directly disobeying my previous order. And if you happen to use the cure to save a life, then this is just a happy coincidence, no? Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. Over here we have a bobblehead. This is going to be the medicine bobblehead. There we go. This is actually a really good bobblehead because it gives us 10% more health from using a stim pack. Let's go ahead and get the hell out of this place. Ugh, I hate this. <laughs> I absolutely despise this quest for that simple reason. It is stimulating traveling with you. Also, if you're having trouble with the mole rats being too hard or something, just lower the difficulty. There's no shame in that. Like, don't let anybody hate on you for lowering the difficulty. Um, that quest sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Oh, I don't know why I pulled my gun out. Stay safe, sir. We're going to put Piper back into our party um, as soon as this episode's done. So she'll be back in our party shortly. At least until we uh, max out her affinity. I heard he'll take cats if you got him. Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. The cure. You found it. How is Austin doing? Do you think he'll survive the cure? He's been unconscious since shortly after you left. Here, take the cure and use it on the boy. Only one dose? I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. I heard you had returned. It shouldn't be long. What? Where, where am I? You're Thank in God. the clinic. You were really sick, Austin. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved your life. Really? Gee, thanks, mister. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that? Nothing. 
exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you the syringe. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault, a place you can call your own. It's in the main hall, on the left as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. I, I hope you enjoy your accommodations. I wanted to say thank you again for what you did for Austin. You've opened a lot of eyes around here, including my own. I had no idea of the dangers vault Tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. What do you know about vault Tech? I'm afraid not much. I've spent my entire life being thankful for the vault, for the walls that protected us over two centuries. But not once have I had contact with them. If vault Tech had lived to go through with their plan, this place would be wiped out. I don't doubt that one bit. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti-Commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted and do more good than just providing resources. You'll always be welcome here. And I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider would help serve as a reminder that the Commonwealth isn't something to fear and avoid. Let's go talk to Kiri. Without your help, Austin A moment, be please. I have been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth. Consult with scientists, unearth more data to challenge my hypothesis. What are you looking to learn up there? Down here is an enclosed system. And without the introduction of new mutagens, viruses or bacteria, it is quite dull. Medically speaking, the world up there is infinitely more complex. Who knows what diseases can be found and studied? After the bombs, the Commonwealth is a little lacking in the science department. But surely there is still men of learning out there. And if nothing else, there is data. Please, monsieur, can you take me with you? It's no picnic up there. Anything you can do to help us survive? But of course. I have been equipped with medical equipment. If you become injured in our journeys, I can administer steam packs. I also have defensive capabilities, a laser. But surely there's little reason to use that. Come along then. Excellent. We must embark at once. Let's go outside of Vault 81 and wrap this video up. Hopefully everybody enjoyed the video today. It was quite lengthy, and I apologize for that, but there's a lot to do in uh, Vault 81. A lot to do. Hello, Kiri. <laughs> Just pop it into existence there, huh? She's a really cool companion as well, and she has a really cool uh, storyline. Austin should recover fast, thanks to you. Also, we Never do have a time. house sure. in the vault, and I probably should have showed it off, but it's a little late now, so it's not hard to find either. Alrighty, everyone. That is an episode. I hope everybody enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. And like always, everybody, I hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.